Lord, who was just a G, I mean, I can't even describe Audrey Lord for you. You have to look her up. She says, uh, my silences had not protected me. Your silence will not protect you. It's tight in my gut, like I swallowed something whole and have been holding it intestinally, unable to will myself to let go. Grip has grown strong over long years of winding my way of being around and around it, a string of silences balled up, filling my belly with empty promise. There is no ignorance sufficient to escape the elephant I fear who walks within me, obvious and unstated pressing me out into oblivion, and it goes its own lumbering way without saying so much as, so what? Immune to challenge, my deep-seated diplomat swims the river of my life daily, drinks its weight as I wait for my fear of elephants to dissipate. I am mourning the words I searched my soul for in vigilant silence, which were found too heavy for a world so unbearably light. They would fail me and fall flat as their gravity requires. Who would risk being crushed to catch their meaning? Will my writings paper the walls behind the dancing lights? The blue haze graffiti we graze upon, blindly chewing cud over water coolers and what dinner tables have survived into this new age of reality televised to advise our communal ruminations and measure us into herds until there is only one. Don't you get it? There is an elephant wading in and damming the river of life that would flow out of me, but doesn't dare.